All right, so we have a couple of important things to talk about today. Um, basically, I'm going to go over MinerGate, the program MinerGate, how you can set it up on your cell phones to make you some money, as well as setting it up on computers for you to be able to start generating some altcoins. Um, right now on my cell phones, you can see that I am currently mining Monero across 10 different phones over here. And I did recently have these phones on checkpoints. Um, we have seen basically a giant decline in how much checkpoints is, uh, you know, functioning as far as having network issues. It's having major issues. So this is what I have been doing, and I recommend that everyone that's making money with smartphones do the same thing. When you start to have issues with some of your phones, have a backup application to switch over to so we are going to shoot it over to the screen of my computer today we're going to talk about the minor gate software um, we're going to talk about monero and also we're going to talk about phantom coin we're going to discuss the prices of monero um, roughly how much i am earning and how much you could expect to earn out of monero and i will say this it is it is not a giant amount what you could earn with just a few cell phones makes it practically pointless. But in the case that you have multiple different laptops, you have multiple different smartphones, you could still be running uh, minor gate and still running something like Earn Honey at the same time. So it's logical to go ahead and set this up. It's easy to transfer these uh, these altcoins over to a different, basically get it into U.S. dollars to transfer it over to. Uh, Bitcoin and then for Bitcoin whether you want to keep it or sell it and go ahead and turn it into cash so this is just an option for you guys so let's go ahead and get started on the screen in my computer okay so do you guys remember me and some of my other videos basically explaining how using cell phone applications to generate some income and you know working with smartphones and computers outside of the realm of Bitcoin is very very similar to making money with Bitcoin um, you know and here is like the the exact example of that uh, you saw just a second ago how I have got all of those phones set up with minor gate they're all currently mining and maybe not making a lot a lot of money but they're still generating some income uh, so basically in this video I'm gonna show you exactly how you can do that for yourself uh, now for, this is more for the person that has gotten to where they have let's just say you've got like 60 phones and you're you're running out of applications that you can use to make money online and you just really don't even know where to where to start next you know I, and I know that there's always a way to expand whenever it comes to smartphone applications um, but eventually you do get to this point where there's only so many different things that you can do so this is where you definitely want to consider getting into making some money off of Bitcoin um, whereas I could take the phones over there and put them on something like you rewards um, I'm always thinking about uh, you know basically investing in something that is going to have a greater value in the future now if you look at the prices of even these altcoins they are going up set steadily going up 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 um, currently Monero is at its highest value that it has been period it, it, since uh, Monero had first started it is literally at its its highest value which is around a hundred dollars for one Monero so um, I see the pluses of investing in these altcoins uh, and I have read and heard uh, basically that these altcoins are supposed to skyrocket up in value within the next year so uh, if you are following Bitcoin if you are looking at some of the news that that surrounds Bitcoin uh, basically you know that the news affects Bitcoin whenever it's in the media that these things are going to happen the chances of them happening are extremely likely so if we if uh, you know you're watching the news and it said that Bitcoin is going to drastically drop within the next so so many months chances are it will have a drop so the media affects how Bitcoin 
like it, it, its potential and its value right now. So I'm going off of what all of the information that I've seen says and assuming that, yes, we are going to see a rise in all of these altcoins. They're going to go stead steadily up. So I could invest in more phones for something like U Rewards, or I could invest these phones into something that could possibly have much greater value in the future. So we are here on the screen of my computer, and we're going to talk about a few different things. One, I'm going to show you Miner Gate the Miner itself really quickly. It's easy. It's easy. That's Team Viewer. We don't want that. That it is easy to install. It, all you have to do is go to minerday.com, download uh, whether it's going to be uh, the 64-bit version or the 32-bit version for your computer. If you have an old, older computer, it would be the 32-bit version. If you have a newer computer, which most people do, it's going to be your 64-bit version. Um, I I am not going to turn on this miner on screen because it would use my GPU. I'm currently on like a higher end gaming desktop, not super high end, but pretty high end, um, which has a, a GTX 980 um, for me to be able to mine with my GPU. Now, it is basically said that you really don't want to mine with a laptop. And that is true depending on the miner that you're using. If you were using something like NiceHash, which you, utilizes your GPU to its full potential and pretty much forces it to mine as hard as it possibly can, I would say don't do that. Now, if you have uh, MinerGate installed on your computer, uh, you can actually set it to where it's mining so much. You could turn the GPU off or on if you want to mine with the GPU. So there's major pluses to the software, especially whenever it comes to mining some altcoins. And um, let's go ahead and get a little in depth though with what we're, we're really trying to look at today. Um, if we are looking at me right here, I have four active workers for Monero currently. Um, and you can see that I'm right at 54 hashes and that fluctuates. It goes up and down. Um, I have seen this go up to right around like 300 some odd hashes in between 300 to 350 hashes whenever everything is running very smoothly and it's all working together simultaneously. Um, I did just turn off my, my computer, my high-end computer, so I can make this video and record this video. Uh, but let's go over here. We want to look at two different things. One, we're going to look at the price of Monero right now. Um, and I actually calculated exactly what I could expect on a weekly basis. You can come over here to MinerGate's dashboard and you can check out the calculator right here. And we want to go over to CryptoNote. So here in CryptoNote, we can see the value of the altcoins. Um, specifically, we're looking at Monero and we're looking at Phantom Coin. These are the two most commonly mined coins that whenever you set these up to run, they are going to mine. You can also choose with the application itself though. If you're using it with a cell phone, you can choose which coin you would like to mine. Um, I went directly from Monero, mainly because of its value right now being $100 for one coin. I figure if I can get my hand on a few of these coins within the next you know, so many, if it took me a year, I would still have 300 bucks just for mining with a few cell phones. So to me, it was a logical decision. Uh, but let's look at this specifically. We're going to come back over here, up here to our dashboard. Now, like I said, whenever everything is running smoothly for me, you can see I'm going up here now. But we're going to go ahead and type in that that 300. I'll just do it, leave it at 300 so we can get an idea here. And once again, I've already done this over here on the screen of the calculator. But we're going to do it again so you can see it on screen and know exactly what to expect. If you had quite a few devices you could toss on here. Um, let's go back to CryptoNote. And we're going to change this from Kilohash. This is one thing to mention. You could, you could go to type in how much you're, you could possibly mine. And if you don't have it set to the right hash rate, then you are you are going to get a, a misfigured number. So we want to come to hashes because once again, going back, we would see that it, it is mining in hashes right now. Now, the more devices that I would have, I would have more. So let's go in depth here, though. So we want to do 300 right at 300 hashes. And now we want to take one week worth of 300 hashes for Monero. We want to copy this figure. Now, Coming over here to our, our calculator over here, monero.price.exchange, you can see by typing that in, that value in, 
it's roughly five US dollars a week. So now this is where I, I have to get a bit in depth. If you're, I know $20 a month is not much, but think about it like this. This is, this is how I'm encouraging all of you to sit here and think about this stuff. Some of the applications that you're using right now, uh, let's just get a little in depth. You're looking at checkpoints that may be making, if you're lucky, off of one account, you, you would be lucky to get 50 bucks every single month. Now you have something like Monero where you can possibly go up in value. So though I may only mine 20 bucks worth of Monero within a month, what, what could its value be in the next so many months? So that this is how you, you should be thinking about making money with smartphones and computers. Now, all of this is a gamble. Investing in 50 different cell phones and then seeing that uh, one of these applications could die out. It could shut down. That company may, may shut down within the next year. You never really know. So all of this stuff is a gamble. And with that being said, that's why I'm encourage ever, encouraging everyone that's viewing my channel to give it a shot. To get into this, this Bitcoin scenario because if you say in the next few months you made a hundred dollars and you got yourself one Monero and then that goes up to six seven hundred dollars how much could you really stand to make for that so many that few months of just mining off of some cell phones so um, you know I try to go as in-depth as I possibly can here to open up people's minds to the possibilities that they have here um, I still plan to do videos on solely just applications like checkpoints and, and you rewards so this is not the end of where I get into other applications this is one piece of the spectrum of making money online so uh, from fear of getting off topic and going into a, a billion things that I don't really need to uh, the last few things I guess I could mention or are basically minor gate is not available to iOS it is available to Android systems so you can download it in the Android Play Store um, it takes no time to set this stuff up you set up a minor gate account and on one final note whenever you get to the point where you have accumulated so much if you decide to go down this route and you decide to mine uh, you will have to transfer your your earnings whatever you have in Monero once you get to a point where you can exchange you will have to go to a, a Bitcoin exchange and transfer that Monero over from there you convert it over to Bitcoin and once you have the Bitcoin from that scenario then you can take your Bitcoin and you can sell it uh, sell it on the market and turn it into the US dollar or the currency of where you are located so I get countless questions all the time from people that are that are currently overseas about how they can make some money online and I try to stress to those people that if you are not able to use a lot of these applications in your area like checkpoints or, or ULOTO if you can't use those applications there is a, a, a very likely possibility that you can get into Bitcoin in your location you can still set up a Bitcoin wallet you can still make some money with Bitcoin. So I encourage my viewers that don't know much about this stuff to do their research. Um, check out forums like Reddit. Uh, watch videos that pertain to Monero. Look at videos that pertain to your area and make some making some money in your area. Um, yeah, but with that being said though, guys, I, I really hope that you found some useful information out of this video. I encourage you to do what I call is, you know, doubling up your apps. Double up your apps on your smartphones if you have the space for it and consider making this one of that one of those second apps that you have on your smartphone especially if you have quite a few phones and but I'm gonna assume for the person that already has 50 60 devices you've already checked out a little bit of this stuff but maybe you haven't but yeah with that being said though guys definitely hit me up with a like and a subscribe I'm gonna try and do quite a few videos We're right here around the holidays so I definitely want you guys to have something interesting to look at throughout the holidays um, we are also headed towards our Basically, we're getting towards having another 100 subscribers, so we're getting towards our 200 subscriber mark. I have plans to sit here and do a, do a giveaway, and someone commented, they were like, it sounds good, 
it is good i'm doing giveaways at every 100 subscribers um also this friday i get my subscriber counter for my channel so we're gonna have a subscriber counter that's gonna sit in the background and every time i get a subscriber it'd be nice if i got a couple right here while i'm recording a video so you guys could hear it and see it as it works um but yeah with that being said guys i will see you on the next video and i hope i'm able to help you out some more in the future